Hi, I'm Derek Boyer, uh, and, and welcome to uh, Dead Ball Training. Now, as I've said before, I've catalogued over 100 different exercises in which anyone, and I do mean anyone, can train their entire body with. Okay, so um, when it comes to exercising, probably the most basic thing that you can do with dead balls is to shoulder the dead ball. Okay, so um, I do this with, uh, with Atlas-style stones, natural stones, and also dead balls. The benefit that you get over using dead balls is the fact that you're not going to scrape your skin with stone uh, and you're not going to damage the ground as, as well. So, so that's the benefit of using dead balls. Okay, so when it, when it comes to shouldering, basically um, I've got a 75 kilo dead ball here uh, from Iron Edge. Thanks very much. Uh, I appreciate it as far as training is concerned. Okay, so the idea with uh, trying to pick up the dead ball, as with any other stone, is to get good penetration on it to begin with. So you want to make sure that your, your fingers are almost touching each other on the, on the underside of the, uh, uh, the dead ball before you lift it off the ground. You then want to lap it, and from the lap you want to generate force with the hips and roll it up to a nice comfortable shoulder position, and then you're going to put it back to the ground and start again, preferably from shoulder to shoulder. I, I see a lot of people shouldering uh, to one shoulder. Try and make it equally to equal to both sides. Basically you look like this. So remember, get down, feet over the top of the stone. You're gonna go underneath the stone. You can roll it either way until you feel your, your fingers are under it. You're gonna lap it. You're going to go around the lap, put your chin on top of the stone. Then to the shoulder. That's one rep. I'll do it to the other side and continue to do that for as many times as I can, say within a 60 second period. Okay, so that's a great exercise. It's a full body exercise. Uh, when you've got it on the shoulder, uh, without actually doing it, when it's on the shoulder, you can do then full squats with it, all the way down, all the way up. Want to get some nice depth on it before you come back up. You can do 20 reps this way, 20 reps on the other shoulder. I guarantee you, you will get the best leg workout you've ever had. You'll also be activating core muscles that you've never used before with using a normal bar that's evenly weighted. So great exercise. Now one of the most interesting things that you can do with this, uh, this uh, ball is to simply pick it up like that and just carry it. Simply by walking with it, you're gonna get a lot of core activation. You're going to get a lot of activation in the hamstrings. What this, what this ball is trying to do is actually tip you forward and it's actually your hamstrings that are actually keeping you in a vertical position. So by walking up and down distances of 30 meters up and down, doing that four or five times, I can guarantee you're gonna get a great burn in your hamstrings just doing that exercise. Also, getting it in that position where the ball's in front of you, you can then also do some uh, quad activation exercises by doing Zercha squats. So with the ball in front of you, you're simply gonna go down and come back up, keeping your torso nice and straight. Okay, uh, a great exercise I get a lot of guys to do, and girls, is to activate your shoulder and your pushing strength, and also as a great core activator, is to get into a plank position and push it along the ground. So if I go from right to left on screen, simply get people to get on the ground, get into this position, and push dead ball along the ground. <clears throat> I can guarantee you, doing that for 30 meters up and back, you're going to be, you're going to be wasted. It's a great exercise. You're going to find you're going to get a great pump in the arms. You're going to get, uh, you're going to be pushing out of your, your core. So you're going to get this hard core from doing that. Now, um, when it comes to core, I'm, I'm massive on core. Uh, you can do very simple exercises where you're getting down on the ground <laughs> and we're going to do rollovers. So with a heavy dead ball, I'm going to roll over. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to roll over into my stomach. I'm going to roll over. And with my body weight, pull it over. And so forth. Back the other way. <clears throat> and then roll it, pull it over. I call those rollovers. Great exercise. Activates your entire core. The other thing that you can do without me actually performing it is picking the dead ball up from this position onto your lap and then onto the other side. Much the same as you would uh, with, 
with a Russian twist. It's, a, it's an abbreviation of that exercise. Great exercise. Now for all you wrestlers out there, I do a, a lot of control, control position with the, uh, the, the slam balls, dead balls. So I'm getting in this position as with I was wrestling someone, keeping my hips low to the ground, and I'm simply going around the ball with my head to the side as if I'm controlling an opponent putting always pressure on the ball. You can slide on top of the ball and then re-configure re, uh, yourself, always with weight going down on top of the ball, driving your hips into the ground, keeping your hips low. Great for wrestlers. So these are some of the exercises that anyone, whether you're a footballer, you're a wrestler, or you're a netballer, can do to train your entire body using just dead balls. Thanks very much, Iron Edge.